once again, the one, the only, <laughs> Will Worship. Back again. Good I see will. You. Nice to see you. Too. <laughs> you ready? Sure. Okay, here we go. Why are some cases federal cases and some are not? Yeah. You know, you always, you always, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, a couple of them I could figure out, but why? What, I'm going to make this a federal case. Yeah, exactly. It's yeah. Well, um, it, it can depend. Uh, a couple different things can make it a federal case versus a state law case. Yeah. Um, and it depends whether we're talking about a civil case or we're talking about a criminal case. Mm -hmm. So a civil uh, case can be filed in federal court if it meets certain criteria. Usually we're talking about um, either it's a federally established cause of action established by federal law, or um, you can go to federal court under what's called diversity jurisdiction. Which is? Which is um, the parties are from different jurisdictions. Okay. So like different mm -hmm. states. Yeah. Okay. So like if I need to sue somebody from California, even if it would be a state law cause of action, I can bring it in federal court if it meets the diversity jurisdiction standards, which are basically disparate parties in disparate um, jurisdictions, and then the amount of controversy has to be high enough to meet the threshold requirement. It used to be fifty thousand mm -hmm. dollars. They keep kind of. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. That, that one me. I wanted to take another direction, <laughs> but we'll stick with what we're doing. I just wondered if you're suing someone from another state. Uh, and the laws are different in different mm -hmm. states. I mean, who, who does it apply There's to? a whole body of law out there called choice of law. And that's one of the issues that would come up in the federal courts. If it's not going to be adjudicated under federal law, then you're going to have to decide which state's laws should apply. Mm -hmm. A lot of that's going to have to do with when and where the cause of action arose from. So if, if the cause of action arose in Missouri, mm -hmm. then likely Missouri law is going to control, even if the case is being tried in federal court, if it's a state law cause of action in, in federal court only based on diversity jurisdiction. Wow. And that's just that, civil law. And this is why you hire a lawyer. Man. This is why you hire an attorney. Uh, all right, now what if, you know, so often you, you hear federal, you know, federal trials, things like that, linked, linked to civil rights. Is that who takes care of all civil rights, the federal courts? Well, not necessarily. Um, but the issue there usually is when you're talking about a civil rights action, a lot of times you're talking about a violation of what's called a violation of civil rights under the color of law. Okay. That's usually what like, you see like if law enforcement officers get sued for violating somebody's right. civil rights. Right. And that's under 42 U.S.C. section 1983. It's called 1983 action is what okay. they call that. And so um, that's a federal statute. So that case is brought in federal court and it's a civil case. Now criminal cases yes, go to federal court when the U.S. attorneys file the case and then your people are prosecuted for violations of federal law. Mm -hmm. So you see lots of maybe uh, felons in possession of firearm cases. Mm -hmm. right. um, you'll see any type of um, transactional offense, particularly uh, possession or distribution of child pornography lots of times will be a federal case because it's coming over the internet and it's man the, act, the things wide, like that. Man act, yeah. nice Tom. <laughs> See? See? Well you started the you started the ball rolling. The though. man act, yeah. wow. Man Way act. to go back for yeah. that one. Uh, is that a real thing? <laughs> yes, yeah, it, it is. is. Yes, we don't want to get into that, I guess. No. <laughs> but I mean all right, and now you, if you find yourself on the receiving end or whatever is the process a much lengthier, much in, more involved process than if you're just in a civil court? You know, actually, a lot of times federal courts have what we call rocket dockets, and they actually move a lot faster than state courts. And part of that oh. is there's so many more cases pending in state courts as compared to federal courts. So a lot of times cases in federal court can actually move a lot faster than a case would move in state court. They can't get those backed up. they got to move along with those. Well, they do. They but I mean, right not along. so much as, as maybe the states. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, the other uh, major offenses we see in federal courts are large drug distribution conspiracies. Right. Right. A lot of times those will be crossing state lines anyway. Mm -hmm. You know, there will be people that will bring, be bringing drugs up from the south of the border and here. And so a big widespread conspiracy case will then be brought. And you'll see that sometimes in the news because they'll release a, a press release. It'll say they've indicted 42 people as part of a major drug conspiracy. Mm -hmm. So those are usually federal cases. It's also there, I mean, you'll, you'll have one person who can find themselves in civil and federal 
You about state. something, I mean, state and federal sure. about something they've you, done. You can now. You're you got to run afoul of the the double jeopardy provisions. Yes. There. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, but it's not necessarily uncommon that you would have somebody charged in state court with some offenses and other offenses in federal court. Right. And then you got to do a good analysis and say, are we are, are either of these charges overlapping? Are we charging the same conduct mm -hmm. in right. one court or the other? And then if you think there are, then sometimes you make a strategic decision as to where you want to be sentenced or dealt with that court. So you may say, well, we're going to plead guilty in state court to force the feds to have to dismiss or vice versa. Yeah. So what you've learned about all of this is hire an attorney. And it's the pretty, and the thing is, small. why it's so hard to pass the, the boards? Oh my goodness, all that must be up in the there. first time. It wouldn't hey, too you're, bad. So. Thanks again. People want Thank more you, information Will. or help from you. How do they get uh, it? Here at the station, wwarsham at color10.com or our website, willwarshamlaw.com. Thanks, Thanks again. Will. Thank you. All Thank right, you. coming up, Kelly is going to show us how to revamp an old book. Make it look great as a decoration on your coffee table. That's up next. This has got to be. Congressman Russ Carnahan's record? In Washington, Carnahan sided with Barack Obama on Wall Street bailouts, Obamacare, and a job killing national energy tax. Don't let Russ Carnahan do the same to Missouri. I'm Mike Parson. I know how to create jobs. It's why I fought to balance the budget every year without raising taxes. As your lieutenant.